Last night, I put out a community post asking for questions for a new video for today. So let's do a mailbag slash ask me anything video. If you want to be featured in one of these type of videos, make sure you leave a comment on this video and also watch out for future community posts because then I'll get you in a video. The first question for today is from R376. They asked, do you think the Iser plan is going and working so far? He's done well but overpaid some guys in free agency and went really off the board, picking Nate Danielson over Zach Benson. Personally, I still think Steve Eisman is one of the best GMs in the league. Some of his more recent decisions do seem a little bit questionable, but I do think he's taken the team to a good place. This offseason, they've definitely gotten better, even by signing the likes of Justin Hall and other questionable signings, but overall, I do think they got better this offseason. That combined with having more at Cider, combined with Jake Wallman more regularly next year, I think will help the team take a big step. Whether they're going to be true cup contenders in a few years, I'm not too sure, but I do think the rebuild's going better for them, and I want to see the Red Wings back in the playoffs. Hockey Town is a great place for the sport, and they really need the playoffs back there soon, because they really do deserve it. I do think he's drafted off the board a lot, but I do think that they have potential to turn into some really good picks. Only time will tell with that though, so it's just a waiting game, but I really do hope that it works out for the team. Next up, we're going to move into a more simple question, and I really hope that it doesn't make a lot of people mad, but if you look at the channel, it should be pretty obvious. Next up, Maddox Ice Maddox wants to know what my favorite NHL team is. Basically, since I was born, I've been a really big fan of the Pittsburgh Penguins. They're the closest NHL team to me, and seeing them grow up winning Stanley Cups has been a big factor in helping me want to cheer for them. I've been a diehard fan since middle school, and my love for them just continues to grow every year. Even with them getting worse, I really want to see them get better, because it's the team I've grown up watching, and I love every second I get to. I've been loving being able to have a platform to talk about them a little bit more, but with that being said, I love talking about the NHL in general. This whole process has been a really big dream for me, and I love it so far. Thank you guys all so much. Let's get into the third and final question. Last but not least, R376 wants to know, what is the best decision for Connor McDavid? Get the payday he deserves or take much less and build the team around him. If Dylan Holloway and other people coming up in the system that are going to need paid as well. Obviously, I'm not Connor McDavid. I'm not sure what he cares about more, money or winning. If I was him personally, I'd go for a more team-friendly deal to help them grow the team around him. Throughout his whole tenure in Edmonton so far, they've been unable to grow a giant team around him that's really good. No matter what team he's on, he's always going to be the best piece, but they need to help flesh out the entire lineup, and him taking a giant contract isn't going to help that at all. Now maybe I'm reading him entirely wrong and he just wants the money, but I really do think he cares about winning. I'm no general manager, but hopefully the team and Connor McDavid are able to come to a contract that still pays him really well, but also helps the team be able to flesh out the team around him. The cap is expected to rise the next couple years significantly, and I really do think that'll be a big factor when he comes to sign his next contract. Evan Bouchard just signed for two years in Edmonton, and he's going to need a giant payday whenever that contract's done as well. Personally, I don't think it matters how much money the Edmonton Oilers offer Connor McDavid if they don't go anywhere here soon. I think if they don't win, he's going to want out of Edmonton and he's going to go to another team. Hopefully they don't ruin the relationship between the two sides, but I really do think that McDavid's going to want out if they don't get anything done soon. The issue is no matter what they get back in a trade for him, it's never going to be anywhere close to what Connor McDavid provides. He's a true superstar and we haven't seen anything be close to what he is in the NHL. So make sure you leave a comment on this video so you can be featured in the next one. Leave a like while you're down there too, and subscribe for more videos. I cover every NHL team, so there will always be something for you to enjoy. Thank you for watching.